Have you ever wanted to say something, but you hold yourself back because you're not sure how it will come across? Or you know you want to do something, but you're afraid of what others will think? It's not uncommon to live a life that doesn't quite fit. But discovering your true self can help bring a sense of purpose and fulfillment into your life. Your true self is the authentic version of you that exists beneath the layers of societal expectations, past experiences, and self-imposed limitations. It's the version of you that feels most aligned with your core values, beliefs, and passions. The version of you that is meant to be seen and shared with everyone else. Hi there, I'm Lori Jonas from Living Marvelously, and I'd love to share with you six tips for discovering your true authentic self. Discovering your true self requires introspection, self-reflection, and a willingness to let go of the persona you've created to fit in with others. It can be a challenging journey, but it's one that's worth taking. When you're living in alignment with your true self, you'll experience a greater sense of inner peace, self-confidence, and self-acceptance. So let's explore some practical tips and strategies to help you find your true self and live a more authentic life. It starts with understanding your beliefs. So the beliefs are the ideas and thoughts that we hold to be true about ourselves and the world around us. They can shape our behavior, influence our decisions, and impact our overall well-being. Understanding your beliefs is an important step in discovering your true self. To identify those beliefs, start by paying attention to your thoughts and your feelings. What ideas do you hold to be true about yourself and the world? What are some beliefs that you have inherited from your family or your culture? And what are some beliefs that you have developed on your own? You can also identify your beliefs by examining your behavior. What actions do you take that reflect your beliefs? What actions do you avoid because of your beliefs? Beliefs like, others will judge the way I look. My story is nothing special. I need to put other people's feelings and expectations first. If I succeed, someone else has to fail, or I can't be who I really want to believe. Once you've identified them, you have to challenge them. Ask yourself whether your beliefs are serving you well. Are they helping you achieve your goals and live a fulfilling life, or are they holding you back? And one way to challenge your beliefs is to examine the evidence for and against them. Are there any facts or experiences that contradict those beliefs, which I'm guessing there probably are? And are there any alternative perspectives that you haven't considered? Another way to challenge your beliefs is to experiment with new behaviors. Try doing something that goes against those beliefs and then see how it feels. And you may find that your beliefs are more flexible than you thought. If you find that your beliefs are not serving you well, it may be time to change them. This can be a difficult process, but it's important to remember that beliefs are not set in stone. One way to change your beliefs is to replace them with new ones. Identify a belief that you want to change and come up with a new belief that is more positive and empowering, such as, the way I look only has to feel good to me. I have a unique story that others can learn from. My self-care is important and a non-negotiable. My success empowers others to find success. And there is only one me and I embrace my uniqueness. So another way to change your beliefs is to practice mindfulness by being present in the moment and observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment. You can develop a more flexible and open-minded approach to those beliefs. Exploring your inner world. When you are working on discovering your true self, it's important to explore your inner world. This means taking the time to understand your thoughts, emotions, and values. And here are a few ways to start exploring your inner world. Meditation and mindfulness. Meditation and mindfulness are two powerful tools for exploring your inner world. By practicing meditation, you can learn to quiet your mind and connect with your intuition. Mindfulness, on the other hand, involves paying attention to the present moment without judgment. Both practices can help you gain insight into your inner world and understand yourself better. But if you're new to meditation, you might want to start with a guided meditation. And there are many apps and websites that offer guided meditations for free. You can also try mindfulness exercises like deep breathing or body scans. Journaling is another great way to explore your inner world. By writing down your thoughts and feelings, you can gain a deeper understanding of yourself. You might also want to try self-reflection exercises, such as asking yourself, who am I? Or 
What are my core values? When journaling, it's important to create an atmosphere that feels safe and comfortable. Find a quiet place where you won't be interrupted and try to write without censoring yourself. You might also want to try differentiating between your true identity and your defenses. I have many journal prompts and exercises on my blog. Search journal in the search bar in the main menu and you will find them. I'll leave a link below. Overcoming obstacles. Discovering your true self can be a challenging journey and obstacles can arise along the way. These obstacles can come in many forms, such as fear of rejection, self-doubt, or lack of motivation. However, with the right mindset and strategies, you can overcome these obstacles and continue on your path to self-discovery. The first step in overcoming obstacles is to identify them. Take some time to reflect on what might be holding you back from being your true self. One effective strategy is to break down the obstacle into smaller, more manageable parts. For example, if your obstacle is fear of rejection, you can start by identifying specific situations that trigger this fear. Then you can work on addressing each situation individually. This can help make the obstacle feel less overwhelming and more manageable. Use your journal to reflect on your obstacles, right? Using these journal prompts. What is the worst thing that could happen? How would I comfort a friend I loved if this was blocking them? What is this trying to tell me or teach me? Is my resistance valid? Finding your passions and talents. Exploring your passions and talents is a crucial step in discovering your true self. When you engage in activities that you enjoy and excel at, you feel more fulfilled and satisfied with your life. Here are some tips to help you discover your passions and talents. One way to find your passions is to explore your interests and hobbies. What activities do you enjoy doing in your free time? What topics do you enjoy reading about or learning more about? Make a list of these activities and interests and try to find patterns or common themes. For example, if you like enjoy hiking, gardening, and exploring new places, you might have a passion for nature and adventure. Try doing a personal inventory. This involves reflecting on your life experiences, values, and strengths. Here are some questions to ask yourself. What are you grateful for in your life? What challenges have you faced and overcome? What are your core values? What are your strengths and weaknesses? What makes you feel energized and motivated? You could also try writing an autobiography or journaling about your life experiences. This can help you uncover patterns and themes that can lead you to your passions and talents. Sometimes it can be challenging to discover your passions and talents on your own. So seeking guidance and support from a counselor, a coach, or mentor can be helpful. They can provide you with tools and techniques to help you explore your interests and talents. Guided meditations, yoga, and other mindfulness practices can help you connect with your inner self and uncover your passions and talents. As a Dharma life coach, I can help you discover your spiritual purpose. It's why and how you do the things you do, the vibration you were born to share with the world. There are many tests that can help you see your innate purpose and unique frequency. And knowing that, you can see what is meant to come easy to you. Building self-esteem and confidence is an essential part of discovering your true self. When you have a positive self-image, you are more likely to pursue your goals and dreams. Here are some tips to help you build your self-esteem and confidence. Identify your motivators. Motivation is the driving force behind your actions. Identifying your motivators can help you understand what drives you and what you need to do to achieve your goals. There are two types of motivators, external and internal. External motivators come from outside sources, such as rewards or recognition. Internal motivators come from within, such as a sense of accomplishment or personal satisfaction. To identify your motivators, ask yourself what makes you feel fulfilled and energized. Is it helping others, achieving a goal, or learning something new? Once you've identified your motivators, use them to create a plan of action, set realistic goals, and create a schedule to help you stay on track. Developing a positive perspective is crucial to building self-esteem and confidence. It involves changing your negative self-talk into positive self-talk. Negative self-talk can be damaging to your self-esteem and can hold you back from achieving your goals. Ask yourself if your negative self-talk is true or if they are just assumptions. Replace those negative thoughts with positive ones. For example, instead of thinking, I'll never be able to do this, try thinking, I can do this if I work hard and stay focused. Give back to others. 
One way to find your true self is giving back to others. When you focus on helping others, you shift your focus away from your own problems and begin to see the world from a different perspective. This can help you gain a deeper understanding of yourself and your place in the world. Acts of kindness don't have to be grand gestures. Small acts of kindness, such as holding the door open for someone or giving a compliment, can have a big impact. When you focus on being kind to others, you begin to see the good in people and the world around you. And practicing kindness can help you develop empathy and compassion. When you put yourself in someone else's shoes, you gain a deeper understanding of their experiences and struggles, and this can help you become more understanding and accepting of yourself. So life is too short to live your life hiding from your true self. Take the time to dig deep and discover what holds you back. You are unique and are meant to be different from everyone else. So why do you try to be the same as others? Find the things that bring you a sense of purpose and fulfillment. Make your life the most important project you have to discover your true self, then go out and live it. There's more in my blog post that I will link below, but if you enjoyed this information, please subscribe, hit like, or send me a comment and I will respond to it. Thank you so much for being here.